Okay, so now uh, in this video I'm going to tell you about how we are going to process the samples inside the MMAG assay. So we are now done with the incubation. So we're going to stop the shaker and going to put our samples. on the rack, the 50 ml rack. Just to tell you about the difference in the 50 ml and a 15 ml rack. So our 15 ml rack actually comes with a hinge and that's the, uh, that's the reason that, or that's the way actually the instrument is going to be able to distinguish between the 50 ml rack and a 15 ml rack which doesn't have a hinge. So the instrument is going to recognize your 50 ml rack that way. Okay, moving on, we are just going to open the tubes. Now, we are, I'm just going to talk to you a little, in, in a little bit detail about each uh, of the, uh, the components that we actually have on the instrument. So the first interface is actually the pretreatment interface. We just open the lid and we use the rack out function to bring out the racks. Now you can see that there are three of these magnets and you just have to make sure that this hinge sits inside the socket right here. So I'm just going to put it here. Now you can see that it's properly placed and the light actually has gone off. There's a red light there, which has gone off. I just use the rack-in function now to bring the racks back into the instrument. I close the lid, after which I'm just going to come to the processing interface where you're going to process your samples. Now you basically have to tell the instrument how much is the settled beats volume that you are using in the tubes. So suppose if we say that it is 1 ml, you just enter that 1 ml right here, the wash 1, and then, oh, sorry, I have to select this first, I did a mistake, so, okay, so uh, I'm just going to, uh, so this uh, is the, so you can basically select and deselect using just one touch, so if you just select that, you can see that uh, the entire uh, rack is selected, same goes for the B1, and for all also you can use this function, so for this one, I'm just going to select this one, and then suppose this is 1 ml settle beads, then we will suppose we just have to use 10 um, MV. So MV here corresponds to the CV, that is the column volume uh, in the case of the chromatography system. But here since we are using magnetic beads, we have magnetic beads volume. The elution volume for this one can go up to um, maximum or minimum of uh, 2. Uh, ML, so and that's the reason I just selected two. And uh, for this run, we can actually, I'm just going to select just one cycle for each, but you can always change it to as many cycles as you want. So we will have one cycle for wash one, one cycle for wash two, and then one cycle for the elution. So you basically have uh, uh, set up, once you set up this protocol, you just have to hit start. And now the instrument is actually going to tell you that this is the amount of buffers that you are going to require for the entire run, including the dead volume. So if, if you just have to manually check that you have enough buffer in your bottles, and once you make sure that there is enough buffer, you just start. Now once you start the system, you see that it's saying filling. That means it's just taking up all the buffers from the bottle right now and then filling the tubing with the with different buffers. It's also washing your wash station which is located right here and you can see that uh, it's having nozzles and is having a wash station right here. So your nozzles are being washed at this time. See now the magnets come out, the bees go on the side and the nozzles are going to come to the station right now.
see this robotic arm just came over this rack and now it's just aspirating all the liquid so this is basically your cell debris which is going to be removed uh, by aspiration process and you see that the beads are on the sides Now, irrespective of whatever volume of liquid you have, the you know, this software actually is designed in such a way that it is going to take out all the 50 ml, irrespective of the volume inside the tube. Aspiration is done, the magnets go back and the nozzles go back to the wash station again. Since this was in the cell debris, it is going to get washed in the wash station using the PBS. After this, it's going to go from the wash, so you see that it's going to dispense the wash buffer and this is we have selected only one cycle so it's going to wash it one time magnets come out and the beads go on the sides and again the liquid is going to be aspirated to remove any cell debris that is now mixed with the buffer, the wash buffer. And you can see the status here that it stays now wash 2 cycle 1, wash 2 dash 1. Your nozzles are being washed at the wash station.